up guys, welcome to Bulletproof Mindset where we bulletproof your mind through fitness, health and just general chit chat. So today we're going to go over some things that will help you improve your sleep. We also go over how my weekend was and how we even got into this topic of sleep because I've had a few shit sleeps recently and I am not a good sleeper as it is. Dale's not sleeping too great, so check it in and we'll... So, how are we? Um, I'm f- feeling alright. I'm getting there. Are you? All right, li- so life's, life's, life's slowly getting back to normal. So for anyone listening, it is Wednesday. Uh, when do you come back? Sunday? It's Sunday night. So these episodes, when you listen to them, this will be probably, when will this episode come out? This will come out next Thursday. Mon- Monday? I don't no, know. next Thursday. What day we on? Uh, so w- when will you be back Sunday? Yeah. So you were back on Sunday the 6th. It is Wednesday the 9th. So when you guys listen to this, it will be Thursday the 17th. Mm-hmm. And you're still fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still be fucked then. I'm fucked now. I'm still be fucked then. James has just been complaining about his toes. He's wee Oh, my toes, man. Uh, I so, don't get. I, I just still don't understand how. Like, mate, you don't understand. Like, so like, <laughs> if you think I'm crazy when I'm here sober, <laughs> think how I'm when I'm a different country. Mad with it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, was it thirty five thousand steps? Thirty five thousand steps in ten hours. I done. And that is steps, so I've got an Apple Watch and I was going to track like track my full workout, like my full 10 hour workout, but I didn't, I didn't even know how to do it. So I've never tracked a workout in my life on my, on my Apple Watch. Have but you not? No, no, no. I don't know how to do it. So I was like, fuck it. I was mad with it. I was like, I can't bother even try to find out. But what I was jumping about and it kept saying, are you doing an indoor run? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing an indoor jump about that's about it I guess this might, this will explain why you've been posting content are you jumping <laughs> doing all these jump boxes to get <laughs> yeah, higher yeah, the raves j- jump, jump higher on the raves aye <laughs> good fun though no? ah, yeah, good fun good fun and I like I mean would I say that I would do it again I, I probably won't do it again for a long long time I think so no no no, no. I, like your priorities change they kind of things like Dutch raves etc and raves in other countries they're just fucking hardcore man like how many people to end up going to it? I seen your it's only like story. Four, it's only like four k. It's a small, smaller event, smaller event, but dedicated eh, to that to that kind of music. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, they love it. They love it. It's a smaller event because there's not many folk that like that. <laughs> <laughs> See this story. The, Dale's music <laughs> style is fucking gant no, shit. No, that we we'll, it is we, fucking rotten, we, man. No, we'll put a poll up, and I guarantee you. I don't give a fuck about other people's opinions. <laughs> No, but, uh, I don't clip, give a fuck. See, see the clip that you put up, and you're like, it was the build up, and I was like, all right, it's gonna be a good drop, and then it was just, do, 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 and then you heard your wee voice, and I'm like, going, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, come on, that was bucket. I wish you turned the camera. Uh, I know, I know, I know. Nah, I fucked on the camera. Didn't uh, <laughs> did everyone make it back in one piece? Uh, just, just, just. Uh, 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 well, that, yeah, we miss up in the way here, though. Uh, uh, we, we miss that. So, if Andy's listening, don't know if we'll be listening. <laughs> but we went over to Holland and uh, we've been travelling. And so, basically, the event was in somewhere called Tilburg. And this was mean we need to fly somewhere, then get a uh, taxi to somewhere, then get a train to somewhere. And it was a fucking then get a taxi to the airport, not to the to the hotel from there. So we're going to be travelling loads and we did a few drinks, no many at all, we had to drink maybe about two hours by this point and we were in KFC and it was roasting in this KFC. <laughs> we went up the stair and my mate collapsed in the stair. <laughs> <laughs> collapsed. It like, actually game. collapsed and I was like, ah, right, <laughs> you, what you was doing there, get a fucking grip here. So I'm like, no, no, we're sober, I swear to God, we are sober. <laughs> Not one drug we've taken <laughs> today. We are sober. <laughs> like, I swear to God, Andy, get up, get up. Is so, he right though? So, oh, so if anybody's watching on YouTube, right, my pup, Andy, he was lying, right, and he was comatose, right, and he was like, they, they didn't know what was happening, there was this woman, she was looking after him. Was having a seizure, or was he just out? No, he was just like, he was he, he had low, but really low right. blood pressure, right, so there was this wee Dutch woman, and she was checking his heart rate and making sure he was alright, and then she went, get me water, get me water, right, and so Andy's lying, you're like, oh. Right, so Andy's, so he fucking, he fucking hate me for this. <laughs> so she brings the water there and uh, she puts it in his face and she goes, <laughs> I'm like, get up, get up, you must be alright, you, you must be alright here. And then she went, but, to, uh, and I was like, fucking hell man. And then this wee woman for half an hour made sure he was alright, she couldn't really speak English, but she was saying to her daughter and then her daughter was saying to us and she was like, oh please. And then she, I, I'm so she was like, where are you staying? Well, at like, Tilburg. She's like, I live in Tilburg. I'll give you a lift. No way. And I was like, oh, yes. And then she's, like, and then I was like, oh, I was like, we can because there was five of us. Aye. And she was like, I can take three then too. I was like, look here, it doesn't matter. But like, imagine that happened in Scotland and somebody was like, I'll, I'll, give, you a, I'll give you a lift to the hotel. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. It just doesn't happen. So 
go, staying on the topic of that, we were went to a rave, like, we went to a festival four years ago, and we were walking through a Dutch estate, like a Dutch house in the state, mm-hmm. and a woman seen us out there, w- four Scottish guys, mad wet, right, walking down this Dutch estate, sweating, it was 35 degrees, and this wee old Dutch woman, 50 odd, maybe even 60, sees us and goes, oh, you're going to intense, we're like, yeah, yeah, we're going to intense, you want a lift, and we're looking at each other at, what, four big sweaty guys. You ever seen the film Hostel? I forgot to die, I forgot to die. And she gave us a she gave us a laugh and she picked us up for the whole she picked us up as well. I know. Just, Just a random a random woman so kindness that <laughs> different, cult- sure. different cultures. Yeah. Different cultures. I think you would get a wee bit of that in, in Glasgow and in Scotland, but I don't know about the laugh part. See, this is a whole, I don't know, I probably shouldn't tell this story, but I'm going to tell it anyway. See, when we were down at Manchester, I don't know name who it was, but <laughs> we were we were walking through, like, we were doing a pub crawl, we were walking through one pub to another pub, and uh, so, big group of guys, and there's a guy coming by, and he's in one of the electric scooters, and my pal went, my legs are tired, and jumped on the back of it, the guy stood up, started fight, why, why fight with him, trying to spark with him, and he's like, you're a liar, you're a liar, <laughs> <laughs> you're so, fucking at it, so, different cultures definitely, oh you know, man, oh mate, was, uh, that's pretty shit, you're I know, it's terrible, <laughs> see, he's telling that story, I god smacked that actually happened, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then my other pal spent like 40 minutes, like, you know, a proper lecture, so I walked away from the conversation, uh, yeah, I walked yeah. away from it, and then soon I came back in, he was still going, you can't be doing that on nights, <laughs> you can't like, be a fucking dick, <laughs> he just kept going, Say it again, say it again. Tell me that one more time. I need, I need to hear it one more time. Uh, what was the weather like? Was it actually the, the, the weather was alright? The weather was, was alright. It, it was is cold. It outdoors? No, it was indoors. It was indoors. Fuck's sake. I, for, I don't know why. I, I, I imagine like, raving November outdoors. I'm, I'm chilling. Chilly I imagine like all these green hills and then. <laughs> Mate, Ho- Holland has no hills. What? There's, there's no hills in Holland. <laughs> it's the flattest country on earth. What? <laughs> is is it? Ah, uh, right, well, there's... Uh, yeah, all the hills in the flattest country on earth. <laughs> but, man, I think you know, I think it's Switzerland. Ah, you're right. Completely, completely different. different. <laughs> totally different. Go to Raven, Switzerland. Ah, yeah. No, I'm a fuck. <laughs> I don't like hills. <laughs> so this is, this is the last of the, the raves, then? This is the last yeah. of the raves. And it, we're obviously going to get on a why it's the last of the raves. Because I'm fucking still tired. <laughs> Struggling. And it's still... It's Wednesday. Aye. So you get back Sunday. Aye. Three days on. Um, back to you were training folk yesterday. Did you train? I know I trained folk yesterday, so I was started at six and finished at eight, and that destroyed me mentally. I had nothing. I had nothing left. Did you have much sleep then? What last night? No. Oh, during it when we were away. No, really. I'd say the Friday night into the Saturday probably slept like four, so that was all right. We got up at quarter past seven in the morning. Me and my pal who hit his head. So he he didn't drink that night. He didn't sleep all day anyway. (laughs) (laughs) He like got up. So we went for breakfast at quarter past seven in the morning. That's unheard of unheard of we I enjoyed that breakfast that's how I enjoyed my Saturday and then on the Saturday night I had a really dodgy belly so I just kind of stayed up <laughs> breakfast didn't go well no <laughs> <laughs> came out the other end started processing the wrong way aye so I so a couple of days later I think it brings on a good topic then and that is the importance of sleep oh 100% so I was listening to a podcast and I don't know like I'm terrible for sleep I'll get up early and I'll push through but see so try to like go to bed at the, the same time every night mm-hmm. I'm a I like to be, I like the, the version of me being a morning person and being up and getting shit done first thing in the morning. But then I'm, I also feel I'm most creative at night. And mm-hmm. I feel like that's where, like that's where I've learned how to like edit videos and that's where I've came up with like content ideas and shit like that. Mm-hmm. So I struggle, man, because I'm like, right, I know sleep's important, but um, I'm, I'm actually at the stage now where I'm trying to move away, right? No, it's, even if I'm young, I can still make better gains if I, if I actually focus on it a wee bit. Aye. Well, you know, it's all these Instagram gurus are like, if you don't get up at five in the morning, you're never going to be rich. You're like, right, I'll get up then, I'll get up. But you, get up at your you get up at five in the morning, you're like, what you're, the fuck's going on? You're just staring at your TV like, what's, what's happening? But, <laughs> aye, aye. Um, but no, I think for sure, I think, um, especially in, in our age group, you feel like because you can get through the day and you can get stimulants and you can you, like so once you're up and going you're actually okay mm. but i don't think anyone truly realizes the impact that that can have to your muscle game to your fat list journey mm. to your health and fitness journey so that's why it's, we wanted to talk severe. about it it's severe like if you don't sleep if you're getting like four five six hours sleep a night you might feel okay to as you say go through the day but the whole point of the purpose is you're progressing to gain more muscle, lose more fat, and that just that just halts all that process. Aye, so because you're, you're putting your fat loss 
on the hold just to progress through your day. Yeah, I actually meant to find this study before we before I speak about it because it might it might be way off. But there was two groups of people, and calories were controlled, and activity was controlled. And one group slept for like five hours a night, and another group slept for eight eight to nine hours a night. So everything's controlled from an activity and calorie perspective. And both groups lost the same amount of weight, but one group lost dramatically more muscle mm -hmm. than what they mm -hmm. did fat compared to the other group who had longer sleep. Um, so there's definitely something there that, that our bodies want to. Uh, it's, it's getting it's, it's dispensing of an expensive tissue because well, you know, you're in that stressful state. I was going to say that if you're in a stressful state, it's severely catabolic, mm -hmm. meaning you will lose muscle. Is that why you're so skinny coming back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, honestly, I feel I feel like I have like I will, I will, I will have lost muscle. One hundred percent. Not like a, it's like no, it's not like a, oh I've lost muscle. Oh my god, it's like I will have lost muscle. There's, there's, there's no doubt about that. You worked out, haven't you? Today I worked out today for the first time so that was the first time since Thursday last week how does that feel so I was quite weak you feel good though you were saying you were I feel better now right. I feel better now but like so like Stan Efferding one of the best powerlifters slash bodybuilders in the world at one point in his time he's 55 and he says if you have four hours sleep and you go for a workout you are just losing muscle yeah. do you know it's what I mean so if there's anybody out there so this is this is something that I vastly changed my mind on that I didn't used to. So I used to get up and I say I had two hours sleep. I would still go, I'm going to fucking destroy my gym session. Mm -hmm. And I would go and I would destroy it. There's you know, more damage. I would feel all right. Damage. But then I would get to like a certain point of that. I don't actually think I've gained any strength from that. And I mm -hmm. hadn't. So now if I have a shit sleep and life has been stressful, I go, I'm not going to work out. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a... A lighter workout, oh, yeah. so I'm not going to prioritise gonna, your ah, rest. Yeah. Prior, you prioritise the rest. So if you still want to move, that's absolutely fine. But if you get up and you're like, I'm going to fucking smash this because I've I've got this fucking, you know, the, the ego's there. You're like, fucking, let's go, yeah. let's go. It's because you see, like you said, you see all the influencers. You see the people who you are just in go, peak go, condition. Go, 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 go. I think the Rock says he or Matt Wahlberg and all that. They only sleep like four hours a day. Yeah, it's bullshit. These, like maybe it is true, but too, like, these guys are super, super wealthy. That all their other aspects of their life are also controlled. Like <laughs> they've got a chef cooking meals. Don't have the same stresses of family dramas or just going out and doing work and all that. But no, the same type, like different uh, type of work. But also, like I think there's a very small percentage of people who can get away with as little sleep. Mm -hmm. That's very. It's like, well, they, they like have, as you say, they have no other stresses in their life. <laughs> they have no money stresses. They have no daily stresses because everybody does everything else for them. Yeah. They've got planning assistance. Mm -hmm. They don't need to plan anything throughout their I think, day. I, I think it's more a genetic component. I was talking to like he. Or, or both those guys and they might actually fit into that category where they can get away with that but like Possibly. how many people do you know who are seven foot for example I mean but we know that Ma red, Mark red. Wahlberg and The Rock are on steroids so oh, they're not eh? oh, aye. <laughs> so if there's anybody listening and you think that Mark Wahlberg fight makes me. <laughs> <laughs> fight me you fucking man The Rock and Mark Wahlberg are on steroids whether Mark Wahlberg is always on steroids I think he just hops on hops off whatever for whatever movie he's looking for yeah. The Rock he's fucking and Just I think that's one thing as well, spe especially for men, like, if you have a shitty sleep, that will negatively impact your testosterone, so if you're for taking... That, for that next I, day. For, so, if you're taking these um, steroids or whatever, then that's going to that's gonna help with that, so mm. so it's kind of hard, it is hard because they're, they're obviously, you see them, they're successful, they, they look good, so you go, right, they know what they're doing, so we, we need to follow, pretty mm. much what we were saying in uh, one of our last episodes. So, the importance of sleep, so I think we can all agree that sleep is important. And this is one I probably need to get better at with my clients because I'm always like, right, sleep's important. And then it's like, right, okay, yeah, I'll sleep, I'll sleep. But we never really dial in a routine. I was going to say, it's, it's really hard to, to teach clients to get better sleep. Like, it's fucking a massive thing. Mm -hmm. You would need to be with them before their bedtime to go, do this, do this, do this. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Do it. <laughs> fucking do it. Get in, right, come on. Uh, hi, hey, <laughs> fucking get in, right. Turn up enough. We'll get into We'll get into some of the things that can help you um, get better sleep and hopefully you can take some things away. And, and our challenge for you today is, is to maybe try it for two weeks and mm -hmm. see the impact to your lifts, how stronger you get. Um, if you're on a weight loss journey, how much weight do you end up losing just because you, 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 these things start to click into place. Uh, and for them to listen, I am a really bad sleeper. <laughs> Not for the same reason as Dale is. I just, when I go to bed sometimes, I just cannot sleep yeah. properly. So and I've always been that way. Uh, so in terms I, of sleeping, though, I'm, I'm not a bad sleeper. No, like, I know, I know. Uh, of you just, you just want to stay up and be creative. Uh, whereas I just go and I lie down and go. I'm not tired anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not alone there. But I think you were. We were saying that uh, we'll come on to the habits and things like that in a sec. But you were like, "What do you do before you go to bed?" 
you're on your phone. Ah, you yeah, get blue yeah. light, like glaring know, and know, and that, and that's, that's things that's underrated, uh, overrated. But sleep for sure is definitely like think about your PT course. Anyone that's done their PT qualifications that's listening to this, you get what a uh, twenty minute module on sleep, that's and it. that's it. And it's up to you to kind of go into the deeper context and um, results as to what's the right optimal, what is REM sleep, and all this shit. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's actually quite it's, with it being the most important factor to dial in. Like you would I think, think what a lot of people forget is we're talking about like training and muscle building and fat loss. Your overall mental health is. De de depends on how well you sleep every night. Yeah. If you have like three bad sleeps in a row, you will feel fucking shit. Yeah. And it's really fucking difficult to come out of that slump. You're like, why do I feel like this? And it's just because you're not sleeping properly. And then because you aren't sleeping properly, it just gets worse and worse and worse. And it's really hard to get a good sleep when you don't feel good. Aye. So it's a cycle. It's, it's, a cycle. A, it's, it's a bad cycle. So if you are sleeping well now, keep it that way. Mm -hmm. Focus on keeping it that way because as soon as it you go down that that dark road of terrible sleep, terrible sleep, terrible sleep, then you get worse and worse and worse. Yeah. And then, like, as you say, as the mental health gets worse, you stop training as much and you stop doing okay. the things you love and it's just, it becomes really bad. So sleep is absolutely major. Yeah. So you talk about the big rocks and fitness and things to take care of, nutrition, workouts, they're obvious ones. Sleep, yeah. uh, water intake, movement, like these are all big pillars, but they, they all kind of coincide with each other. But one, that un honestly, is the foundations of them all is your rest and sleep. And, mm -hmm. and if that's off, you could work out, you could have the best workout plan, you could have the most dialed in nutrition. If your goal is to build muscle, you won't build muscle if your shit, your sleep is shit. No. Same with your weight loss. If you try to lose body fat, you'll not, you'll get stubborn. Your your weight loss will get stubborn. Plateau. Because of, aye, aye, you'll, you'll, hit, you'll hit the plateau so much quicker. So one of the ways that I found for myself, before we got in, that I found help my sleep was just getting up earlier. Even if I slept eight hours from 12 to eight, I always felt better if I slept from 10 to six. Very strange. Uh, very, just, very strange. Just cause, I guess it's good. Same, 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 like for me, I still get eight hours sleep, but I felt different. I felt better. When were you doing that? I started trying to try to do it a couple of years ago because my sleep was terrible. What time of the year was it? Probably winter. So I'm guessing the the because during summer I, I really struggle to sleep even more. Well, that's what I was going to say. Maybe the reason that that is is because you're you're getting up when it was already light, whereas you're getting up when it's dark. Mm. And then I don't know because it's, it's definitely something when it comes to the, your circadian rhythm. Yeah, and yeah. How much sunlight you're exposed to and all that sort of shit. Yeah, but, yeah. That's that's, that's true. So that's it true. Could, it could be that because I'm the same. Like I find that. It's probably your schedule as well. Like you've, everybody's schedule is going to be different because of lifestyle factors or jobs and, and, and all that stuff. And don't get me wrong, if you're on a 12-hour night shift job, like it's hard. Oh, yeah. It's hard. I always say to people when they come in, they say, I've got a night shift job. I'm going to be like, your progress is going to be harder than most. Mm. And it's it's hard to tell people that because you're like, fuck, man, like, this so is their job. Yeah. This is their career. And night shift is the one, one yeah. of the worst because cortisol levels rise after... I think it's like 10 o'clock at night. So if you are under any light for like severe lighting, like which you are in any job at that yeah. time, your cortisol rises and rises and rises, but it's meant to basically switch off when you go to sleep. Because I don't know. And then it's, then you try to get to sleep when it's during the day and it's just, it's, it's like, it's got like being jet lagged 24-7. It's mm -hmm. like you come, you come out that cycle, you get a couple of days off, you get your sleep schedule back on and you're back into that plane mode. You're different country, hours are back to front and all that. And what I would stuff. always say to people who go, well, I'm, I feel fine in the night shift. Look, you, you only feel fine because you're used to it. Yeah, you don't know what you don't know. Yeah, you don't know, never, exactly. You've never optimised your sleep, so you'll never know. Exactly, um, so you'll never know how good <clears throat> you actually could feel. Aye, no, I think for sure. So let's get into some points that can actually help you with setting up a, um, or, or improving your sleep quality. Mm -hmm. um, and this is the challenge. If you run through these points, then and I would say, as I said, try and stick to them for at least two weeks. And, and what, watch I, a difference. what I would say to these points is you need to have them all. <clears throat> You need to try them. You need to try and put them all together. Yeah, it's one thing. One of these things will not help drastically if they're not done together. Yeah, I mean, some of them might. So I think some of them might. Like, like if you're, oh, well, I suppose if you're, so like for example, the first one on the list is like getting thirty minutes of exposure outside. Like, yeah, just getting some sort of daylight outside. Now we struggle in Scotland. It's no, we're not it's hard. The, the luxury of of some of our countries that have more sunlight than we do. <laughs> um, this is where supplementation, I guess, comes into place and there's other things. But I'll tell you, it's even getting out when it's a cloudy day that it does it, it does wake you up first mm. thing in the morning. And then I like, well, I've got a dog, so kind of walking him at night 
I can see a difference on my body wanting to start to, starting to wind down, especially mm. with the darker nights as well. So, yeah, because that's your body clock. Like that's that's what that's really what it comes down to. Yeah. Um. So have you? So this is one that you're going to try and. Yes, what I'm going to try it. and do. So obviously starting in Scotland we get up at five six in the morning at the moment. Like trying to get, if if I could, I would get up, shower, breakfast, walk. But if I go out, show a breakfast walk to try and get some sunlight, it's fucking pitch black. <laughs> so that's that's where the issue comes. So then I would need to go to work, and then I would need to go out to walk, mm-hmm. and then. I'd be like, but obviously, I think this, try, I the, 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 the studies coming out at the moment for sunlight in the morning are fucking massive. Yeah, it's like game changing. Game. If there's one game changing thing that you have that's free to do, and you have full control over, it's that. Go and get sunlight. Twenty minutes in the morning. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I done it this morning. I went jelly and left to go. Um, could have easily slept in, but I was like, right, I see. The like it was dark and it was starting to get light and I was like right I'll just get out and I I was like because I thought I was going to get the delivery for that stuff so I was like I want to be in the house mm-hmm. I walked around the estate and it was like 10 minutes I think I walked around didn't even make it to the park I could have done like a 30 minute walk but I got 10 minutes and see when I came in the house I was like right I'm ready to go for the day get showered and all this sort of stuff so it makes a big impact but that also getting exposed to that throughout the day can I exposes you to all the benefits of, of sunlight and, or daytime and when it actually hits day, uh, and when it actually hits nighttime mm. your body goes right it's time to start getting ready to sleep yeah because you've been exposed to that sunlight now when it's dark right ready to sleep ready to sleep as bedtime comes you will wind down much quicker yeah and this leads nicely onto the next point so blue light exposure and just light and exposure exposure which is probably with technology the way it is now the hardest one to cut out aye so you've without got, a doubt so what is blue light blue light is the the light that's generated from screens tvs computer screens whatever it may be even your wee alarm clock that, that pings off the number a digital clock this is all light exposure and it's harmful it can be very harmful to your to your eyes which is also um sends a signal to your brain to to make you want to stay awake yeah so you don't get that that tired effect when you're watching tv and it's, it's the stuff that keeps you up and um, that's why you have things like blue light blocking glasses yeah and, and that sort of stuff and i've messed about with them only because i used to game into like two or three in the morning and see the difference of wearing them and then no wearing them change like it. eye strain and i was like oh, whoa that's quite mad so like, one of the things about blue light is i was reading about it is it actually makes things look better mm-hmm. and it stimulates your brain and that's why you stay up the more you the more you see blue, blue, yeah. blue light and that's why your phone had blue light because obviously anything you're watching on it it's really it makes it so pop mm. so much more now i'm guilty of this and i guarantee you most people listen to this Everybody waking is. up in the middle of the night and then you check your phone and then boom you're wide awake right so you see that's one thing i do not do do you know no I, not for the reason not <laughs> not for not for uh, not looking at blue light i hate knowing the time during the middle of the night do you know oh but you know what the best feeling is when you're sleeping and you're like oh fuck man uh, and, yeah, woke yeah, up yeah. and then you check the time you're like i did no 10 past 12 you're like yeah fucking uh, five hours <laughs> but see the thing is i've got a kind of brain right as if i checked and it says 10 past 12 right I, uh, i've only been asleep for two hour. i've got five hour left and then I know it would go by. I've got. I've only got four on now. <laughs> you start and I've only got three. <laughs> Fucking sleep. That's, the, ki- that's sleep. the kind of brain I have. Like so I would. I would think about. Right, I've got five hours, and then I go, oh, and then I'd stay awake because yeah. I'd think I've only got five, and then I go, oh, no, I've only got four, and it would just continue. Yeah. So I just don't check the time. So the tricks with this is you, you can, if you, if, like, we're not, like, I'm not saying that you've never sat and watched TV before I go to bed, or I don't look at my phone, but try to make a habit. Like, Cooper, right, my blue light blocking glasses, but I was doing it like, where I would put them on as soon as the sun went down, and it was dark outside, put them on. I try and keep the house somewhat dark, so those salt lamps or just not keeping the big lights on, keeping wee lamps on, aye, aye. or candles lit, like that, that aye, you'd be aye, surprised aye. at your mood and how that brings it So down. exactly how I do, so on your phone, or on an iPhone, I'm guessing you've got it on every phone anyway, you can turn off the blue light at a certain point in, in the night and... I think if, see with that, see if you've got an Android, what the fuck are you then? Come on, f- f- <laughs> fuck, who is an Android fucking, iPhone gang all day? Fucking gimps. <laughs> so I actually love a candle for that specific reason, I can turn off all the lights in the house, I turn on the blue light and I don't have a telly in my bedroom. Aye, so this was going to be the next thing, like... I, 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 and one I of still the best... sleep like shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what <laughs> No, one of the one of the most impactful things that we definitely done was move the TV from our bedroom um, and just not have a TV in our bedroom. So we've done that for 
four years, uh, three years, sorry, since we moved into this house. Mm. Um, and yeah, it's uh, that's our place to rest and sleep and, and read. So and, and, then, and, <laughs> and funky <some> time. Sexy <laughs> time. <laughs> that too. Let's not be out of the bush. <laughs> but, um, that, but that leads nicely into another one, which is like calming the mind before bed. Mm-hmm. The last thing you want to be doing is stressing out. That's why you like journaling and kind of getting thoughts down there, checking off your day, all these things. Mm-hmm. That's why it's as woo-woo as they sound. They, 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 they will work. actually work for some people. They work. Um, I can't do it, but I, I, I try and do like a, a reading hour. One thing that's, that sends me to sleep is putting an audio book, playing through Alexa. I'll get maybe seven minutes in and then I'm sleeping. But then the next night I'm like, right, where did I get to? Right, I go to there and I'm hearing the same bit and I was like, oh, I remember this bit. And then <laughs> again, so I never actually get to finish an audio book. But um, calming your mind before bed. Jill yeah. is pretty good at this. She, um, she reads very consistently. We try to do reading now. I always find, <laughs> I always find women like are always better at reading at night. The men. I, I, I just. I'm, do you know what I, I mean? My, my stepmom would go up religiously at nine o'clock at night, read for an hour, so nine, nine to ten every single night, and go to bed. <laughs> and I'm routine. like, how the fuck do you do that? Are you no bored? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm bored. Because you're you're a fidget, although you're like yeah, always yeah, yeah. But go, every so. single night, and then that's how she would sleep well. Mm-hmm. So the the I so we we tried to implement reading her and Jillian would say like you know, we said nine to ten every night. Let's try and do it when we came back for our honeymoon. And Joe's like, right, he's reading her. So I sat down with my book and all my pages. <laughs> like, that's quite good. So I was reading, reading stuff I'm interested in. And I get down to the bottom of the page and I'm like, that's fucking boring, man. <laughs> it's boring, isn't it? Struggling with this. <laughs> I <am> struggling. <laughs> Even on holiday. Because I always, have, I always love to be, I'd love to be the person who can sit a sun bed, read all my book and then... You can't do it. I can't do it. I honestly, a ton of pain, like, sweat is running down my face. <laughs> I, like, am, I don't know how people enjoy it. In the pool and I'm in the pool and I'm reading. And I'm like, right, here we go. In fact, I bought a book uh, by Mark... Oh, what's his name? It's like How Not to Give a Fuck, the book's called Brilliant yeah. Book. Um, but it was only like 170 pages and it took me the whole two weeks to finish it. I done I see in the airport, I was like, right, nah, I'm getting into this, I'm getting into this. And I done it, but nah, I can't read, I can't read. So that's not lasting, but Jillian's, Jillian's implementing Fair reading. Fair play, well done, so, well done, Jillian. And I know some of my clients do read before night and all that sort of stuff. The hardest thing is, is because when you're reading, it will spark something and you want to check your phone. You want to do that. So it's, it's a very contradictory thing to do, but try and put, like you get sleep, as you said, you can get timer that you put you get focus hours do not disturb but there's an actual sleep mode on most phones that you can put can that's activate, what I've got no notifications come through yeah that's what I've, that's what I've got one of the best things and you I can still do. check them <laughs> <laughs> so fucking difficult and like it's well, we are saying these things but they are so th- this is the, this is the hardest thing with technology the way it is now is not looking at your phone for a specific amount of time before bed yeah so next one I had written down here was the sleep schedule Probably a lot of people can be guilty of this, and I'm starting to fine tune it more and more. Um, now that I'm self employed and things, it's not as if I've got a set Monday to Friday job now. I can be working seven days a week, so I, I try and keep my sleep schedule more or less within the same hours. But what I used to do in my old job was Monday to Friday, I go to bed at nine, I train at half four in the morning, train at five, five to six, go to work, blah, blah, blah. And when it came to the weekend, up to two in the morning, three in the morning, mm, watching that's films, that's what you said, TV, yeah. whatever, um, same with Saturday. And then as soon as Sunday comes, I'm fucked. It's like being genuinely jet lagged mm. and I'm going into Sunday, I'm going into Sunday night, thinking about Monday, thinking about working and I'm fucked and then I'm struggling to get back into that routine. So having a sleep schedule or within a primer, I'm not saying that you can't go out with your pals or like anything like that, like... You're going to have events, night outs, parties, um, yeah, waves yeah. and all that. They're different, but yeah. for the most part, try and keep it as consistent as you can. Yeah. If, you, if you're consistent for your sleep schedule for six days out of the week and you go off a wee bit for the seventh day, when it goes back to the next day, you're able to get stay on that sleep schedule. But if you're doing it two times a week and you're going off that sleep schedule, that's when things... Yeah. You you just you're in a, that vicious circle of just tired for four days, get yeah. back on the sleep schedule and then back off it. So if you can try and stick to it for six days a week minimum, that's the best. Yeah. That's the best way to do it. I think as well. You also you probably know this when you wake up naturally. So mm-hmm. you wake up naturally and you're like, oh, I feel good, I feel rested. Mm-hmm. There's people that actually do that. They don't set alarm clocks because mm-hmm. they have they are so well, hyper focused on their sleep. That's schedule. what Jeff Bezos does. Aye, he's mad. It's I mean, mad. he's got fucking enough money to do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean he doesn't need to wake up, but if he wakes up and he goes right, like, go and do that. I was listening to the Huberman Lab podcast. He had a sleep. Um, uh, doctor on that specialised in the, had his PhD in something to do with the the the, the brain cognition and when they sleep and that and mm-hmm. he was saying he he sets the alarm for seven or four but you wake up consistently at ten to seven every morning I'm like man I've done it How I've done it a handful of that? times but it, it's, so it's all to do with what you do in the lead up to your, your bedtime like before we work out 
Most people are getting the tunes going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got, you've got that routine. What do you do in the morning? When you, go up, you, you go up, you have breakfast, you shower, you brush your teeth, and then you leave. So it's, it's we seem to just think on the lead up to bedtime, it's like... Right, fuck it, let's go to bed now. Like, aye, there's aye, no, aye. like, you need to prepare for it. Mm-hmm. Um, you do need to prepare for it. So, speaking of caffeine, pre-workouts and that, there's the other thing as well. Mm-hmm. You motherfucking crazy guys who are like, taking pre-workouts at 7, 8 o'clock. No, 7, 8 o'clock oh, right, at night. Right, right. I was going to say you. <laughs> see, when I'm in training my, my nighttime clients and I see people buying pre-workout, I'm like, man, you're fucked. This is the point that you've, you've wasted your workout. <laughs> and I don't care. See, people who go, I can still sleep after it. It doesn't fucking matter if you can actually yeah. fall asleep. You've still fucking ruined quality, your sleep. You, your quality sleep is done. It's how often you can get in a REM sleep, but this is this is why I'm saying everyone that anyone that's listening has never given it a try before. Try it because you don't know what you don't know, and you'll be surprised that like you might be stuck at a weight that you're trying to lift, or you might be stuck at a, a weight in the scales, or like whatever it is. Keep everything else the same, the activity levels that you're doing. Keep the workouts that you're doing, your nutrition that you're doing. Just change, try and put a focus on that. Stuff yeah, and watch what happens over the so course. So ca- caffeine has a half life of five hours, mm-hmm. so you want to be having caffeine. Minimum ten hours before you go to bed. Yeah. Anything after that, you're risking the quality of the sleep. Not not just falling asleep. For me, it's falling asleep on caffeine. But yeah. for others, it's the quality of sleep. No, definitely. So I'll be going to bed at one o'clock tonight. <laughs> 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 Woo! No, to be fair, I've not had caffeine after twelve for for just apart well, from just apart from weeks. today when we're talking no. about sleep <laughs> for a, for a couple of weeks. I'm only took a coffee. I, so I, I love the I love the contradiction I've not, today. I've not had um, I've not had uh, much caffeine this morning. In fact, I've had no caffeine this morning until that. It's just when we podcast a habit and like ah, yeah, yeah. we're, we're podcasting a wee bit later. So I'm going I'm going to bring up one way you can do one way you can wake yourself up, one way you can bring yourself down, and it's not something we spoke about. But if you have two two showers a day, one in the morning, cold to wake you up, mm-hmm. brings you. Brings you up in the morning, gets you ready to go, and a warm shower actually brings you down. Mm. Same with bath, I think. Is it, um, bath, Chinese, or, is it or a warm bath? Chinese culture, or there's a Chinese Japanese culture, like they have a warm bath before bed because it brings your body it, it down, gets you into that resting state. So for f- this is this when I first heard this, it sounded mad. <laughs> like <get> right? fuck. <laughs> so when you have a cold shower, it heats you up, so it gets you ready for the day. When you have a warm yeah. shower, it could. Could you try? Oh, that was my Apple Watch. <laughs> was, who the fuck's that? When you have a warm shower or a warm bath, it cools you down, mm-hmm. which sounds fucking stupid, but that's what it actually does. So have a cold shower in the morning, that heats you up, gets you ready to go, and then have a, a warm shower or bath at night, mm-hmm. and that'll cool you down and get you ready for bed. Because when you fall asleep, your body temperature drops to a certain point, and it gets to its lowest about two hours before you wake up, yeah, yeah. and then it starts heating up again. As soon as it starts heating up, that's it getting ready to wake up. Yeah. And then once you wake up, you want to just get it to a certain point to go for the fruit of the day. Yeah, and, and di- different people's body temperatures are different. That's probably the biggest argument in relationships. I sleep with the window. <laughs> I sleep with the window. I'm constantly jealous like that. And I said, you can cool down. No, you can heat up. I can't cool down. Mm-hmm. Leave the window open. Mm-hmm. She's fucking ice on the car. She's like, is the window going open? I'm like, yes. I see the fan. I bought a fan during that heat wave that we had and I had it up until like two months ago still going to the bedroom she was like no there's an electricity crisis I was like but it's nice it's nice and cool because it cools the room down um, but four days I lasted with cold showers mate well so I know, that's quite good four days quite <laughs> good fucking shite no I, I, I'd, I had my first one like since that weekend this morning and it was fucking so what'd you do freezing. What? talk me through like what'd you do what did I do? What do you mean? What did I do? Like, what do you mean? Because I put a timer on my watch. No, seconds, no, no, no. What? 30 seconds, put it in the back of my neck, and then I was like, Ugh, and it kind of dripped down my nipples, and then my fucking my manlyhood just sucked inside of me because how fucking cold it was. And I was I, like, what, I, is, I, what am I doing with my life? I don't even think about my, 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 my manlyhood when I get in it. <laughs> nah, I, that is forgotten about wash? before I even get in it. Do you wash? Yeah, yeah, I wash on it. In the cold shower, so no, you put so soap right, in your body. So right, right now the water is freezing, and I need to get back to getting used to it. What I will do is I'll have the shower, no, the shower, the shampoo and the body wash beside me. I'll jump in, I'll put the head under, I'll, I'll give everybody a quick rub, quickly, <laughs> and then I'll put the shampoo on rapidly, and then I'll wipe everything rapidly, and I'll oh, fucking hell, man. While well, the shower's gone. While well, the shower's gone, and then I'll wash my hair, and then that's me. So I'm probably in there for about two minutes, Max. Nah, fuck that. It's <laughs> fucking brilliant. Do you know what I might get? I've always said this because you get a free, I say free, but you can phone up the council and get like a recycle bin. Um, oh, they've got that brand new, so I was thinking, have a bath. Maybe I'll just do that because it's jump in, count to a minute, back out. And so then that it's, it's one of the best ways to start your day. Nah, best way, I think, still getting outside. Like, Oh, no, no, right, right. So if you had a cold shower outside, you would be fucking super- Master Superman! <laughs> Absolutely jacked. It's basically the steroids. Nah, I, I, I do struggle to get behind the, 
the culture I know there's so many studies and benefits to it I just can't I don't know what it is I'm just like nah <laughs> I don't know what I, I need some people, to some people some people have the mental strength already yeah I, I find it gives me mental strength do you know what I mean? Kind of, it's like a, a fine tune for your day. Yeah, yeah. Right, so that was caffeine intake, um, cold showers in the morning. Um, so last kind of two here, kind of the, the, the fall inside recharge is wearable. So you, like you were saying about your Fitbit, mm-hmm. I've got an aura ring at home and that tracks sleep and just gives you an understanding because sometimes you see breaks throughout your sleep. Mm-hmm. Um, but what I would say with trackers is it's the same with the steps, man. I hate it because people are like, I see people pacing up and down in their living room to try and hit their step count and I'm oh. like, you're, you're defeating the purpose here. Like, I, I, we can. We, so, what, what I'm trying to say here is try not be so obsessive over the number and look at trends. Mm-hmm. That's what it's for. It's trends and that you can find. So, for example, you look at your sleep and you can see that over the course of a week, you've had this type of sleep. You've had three, four times where you've been awake that you don't remember. Mm. Try and piece things together. What's happened differently throughout that day or what's happened? Has there been any changes? Have you done any of these things that we spoke about? Did you get outside? What's your nutrition like? Did you work out that day? And over time, you'll be able to piece what things um, work for you and what doesn't. And kind of highlights the point of um, getting outside. Mm. Or like you say, say there's two days where you got outside and one day where you didn't. And then you, you can check it. You can reflect that. You can you can start to piece all these different pieces. Uh, What's working of, for you and what doesn't. Yeah. Because not having to work for every day. Basically, I'm a bad sleep talker what, slash walker. <laughs> You've got and, some mad stories. Like and that. basically, like there's, there's, there's no... There's no reason why people do it. Just the brain. They've been trying to. They've been trying to figure shit like that out. So if you're one of these people and like, so I don't even know what I'm doing some of the shit I'm doing. Yeah. So the, the I was listening to the Huberman podcast and um, I'll try and find the link for it and I'll put it in the. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll put the, the the link to it below. But the he he was talking about with this guy that your body goes into this paralyzed state because you can have dreams where you're skydiving. The last thing you want to do is jump off your balcony and do it. So your your body gets to this paralysed state. That's what that REM sleep is. Mm. But he was talking about, I just got to the point where he's like, some people break through those barriers and that's where sleepwalking comes from. <laughs> so you've got a funny story where you were climbing in your dream. Well, I've got many, many funny <laughs> stories. But, but the story, like, basically there's terrible. no radiator on my wall anymore. <laughs> so <laughs> in my dream, I was I, I was climbing sitting and what I'd done was, so my bed sits beside my radiator. So if I jump off the bed to my right, my radiator's there, the window sills, the window sills there and the curtains are there. So what I'd done was I grabbed my curtains, I put one, my left leg in the windowsill, and I put my right leg in the radiator, and obviously the radiator just came off the wall. <laughs> so I went right into the windy, scalped my head off the windy, and the radiator came off the wall. And I was like, whoa, what the fuck is did going on? Did you wake up mid, mid four? I did, but it was pitch black. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck's fucking going on? And I was like, what the fuck? But obviously I woke up and I turned the light on, I was like, oh, fucking hell, I've got, I'm going back to bed. Because once you wake up for your sleepwalk, you can fall back asleep pretty quick. Uh, I've got I've like seen my brother he used to do sleepwalk so many times he used to always piss in random places that's the funniest <laughs> one <laughs> it's been, I've, I've sleepwalked a couple of times as well when I've been drunk it's so I, 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 I didn't I didn't sleepwalk but I, 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 I slept talked at the weekend so my girlfriend she was lying there and she says I grabbed her from behind and started shaking her and she was like what the fuck's going on I was like oh, 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 so much. as I was doing <laughs> I was like, I, she said, she said, I was saying, now this is the way it's meant to be. And I was just getting up and cuddle in my sleep. And then she said, I was just talking to her, and she was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I, I was just sitting there mumbling away. <laughs> See, sleep talking. That's just reminded me. There's a, is it Homeland or something? There's a TV series about Homelands, but the uh, terrorists coming right, in America right, and right. stuff like that. Jillian was obsessed with this, right? So I'm trying to go to sleep one night, and she's like, fun, and she's sleeping, and she said something. And I woke up and I was like, <laughs> what the fuck are you saying? She's going on and and she started like praying. And his Islamic or whatever it was, she was trying to imitate her, and I was like, What the fuck? And I was shaking her, and I was like, Are you awake? And she's like, What is that? What is that? <laughs> right, it's weird, isn't it? The brain, the brain it is, is fucking weird. crazy. Um, so, I so like, you, you, uh, you, you can't help sleepwalking, I, I guess. I think probably like, you can't help it. <laughs> yeah, it is. More research into that, they would need to do. But last one on the uh, on the list is supplements, then. So, I've never really taken supplements to sleep. I know mm. some people take stuff like for when they're going on flights and stuff to yeah. knock them out and stuff. But have you ever messed about with that? <laughs> we do be. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a bit of weed before bed. Uh, I, I, I've took like uh, <laughs> some sleeping pills sometimes, uh, but like. A few days later, you feel weird after them. Aye, because it's, it, it's, I think you want to be careful with supplementation. One thing we didn't say in, in the supplements episode was it could mask the issues, the, the oh, yeah, issues. Issues. Well, it will, it will mask issues. Aye. Do you know what I mean? A lot of people, a lot of people can't sleep. It's, it's trauma-induced. Mm-hmm. 
So this takes sleeping pills, but that will never make it better. Yeah. And if there's anybody going out there going through some sort of trauma and that's why they can't sleep, I, would, I mean, I'm, I'm not telling you what to do, but try and find the reason for that trauma and try and go over it instead of taking sleeping pills and that, because yeah. it's just a very, very risky road to go down. There's some interesting uh, results coming out through, like the hemp oil extracts and the CBD oils and all that sort of stuff. Um, Jillian's mum was really struggling with sleeping and I got her, we got her one for Boots um, and it was a strong dose and she was having very vivid dreams that she couldn't take it anymore because it was see my best mate, she had a dream that he was strangling her. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, I can't do that. Aye, she was getting aye. so worked up with the dreams that she was I having. I had a, a, th- a wee bit of THC in it but it was meant for sleep, it wasn't meant to get stoned mm-hmm. and uh, it was CBD but just a wee bit of THC in it so it was meant to like mellow you out. I took it and I was up all night. <laughs> well, I, was lo- I was staring at the ceiling and I was like, I thought this was meant to put you to sleep. <laughs> Counting all the wee dots. I was the honest, I never, slept, I never slept a wink. I was like, right, what the fuck? One of the deepest sleeps I've ever had was when we went camping. We climbed two Monroe's, so we'd done a ton of activity. We're out in sunlight all day. As the sun came down, like my mate had, um, he had like two joints. And I was like, fuck it, I'll, I'll smoke a wee joint here. And took about two or three puffs, and that was the deepest sleep. I woke up butt naked, like <laughs> face down. We didn't even have like a, a mat, it was on grass, like in the tent. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, oh, see that way you sleep in your muscles and your fingers or so, <laughs> right. all your joints. I was like, oh, that was so good. It was a good 12 hours sleep. That is beautiful. <laughs> I, love, I love a good sleep. Uh, the Look, supplements, I, I, I've never actually purposely took something to sleep. Um, over the last course, the last couple of weeks, I've been up at night more just because my mind's racing with mm-hmm. different stresses. Shit, good, shit going on. And Jillian did actually say, do you want me to get that, that hemp oil stuff that we got? Um, we got our mum, so I might mess about with that. That might be something that you want to look but into. But look at the end of the day, it's, it's the rest of the stuff going on in your life. And uh, if you need to... It's like a trigger. Like, I, you I, need to get I, that first. I, I, think you you need to, I think you need to... You need to be self-aware with supplements because mm. I know if I continue to take that, my body will adapt it, and I need to take more dose. So I don't. I never want to be reliant on anything. The best supplement most people can take is just eat cleaner. Aye. Oh well, that's sorry. One other thing we maybe skipped over: eating before bed. What is that? A two two hour di- digestive system for your body to process the food. Yeah, that you're yeah. Consuming? So I eat before bed, but it's not. Out of, it's not out of. Uh, Choice. Choice. Uh, <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> it's not out of choice. So like, when I go home, it's like nine o'clock at night. I'm going to bed at 10. Aye. I, 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 I would really, think, really aye. rather not. Aye. But, but you need to think about your your lying down. Like, <laughs> slows that process down even right more. Down. Aye. So, um, I, so I, I'm a, I used to be really bad in the middle of the night getting up and then I'd scrand food and I'm like, why am I doing that? And then struggle to go back to sleep. And I'd wake up fucking bloating. And I'm like, what's going on with me? <laughs> aye. <laughs> aye. So, so, um, so there you have it then. That's our... How to improve your sleep? Do you mm-hmm. have something else that you wanted to add? No, 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 that's perfect. So, how you can improve your sleep? Uh, maybe we rambled on a wee bit with the <laughs> we, bits, we definitely but, uh, did. Uh, there's a couple. Of, hopefully, there's a couple. But I don't of think there. I don't think many people talk about sleep. Like nah. you don't you don't walk into work. People go, I'm really tired. And then people will go, or oh, maybe it's your diet. You never hear that. <laughs> nobody would ever say that. <laughs> nobody cares. Though. No, nobody cares. <laughs> like, I'm tired. Oh, it's your diet. Shut the yeah. fuck up. <laughs> I know. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> so sleep wise, then I if it's something you've not thought about before, have a have a have, have a, a massive a thing about reflection it. and see if that's one thing that you can maybe try and commit to. I think for this month, well, I'll wait to I'll wait till the studio's open because <laughs> I don't. But I'm, I will still try it. I'm going to try one thing. I want to try. Like you were saying about habits in the morning, is I want to. Try the whole cold plunge shit. I, I do want to try and stick that for a wee bit, and I want to dial in my sleep. Aye, sure. that's sure. me, hundred so, percent. Um, so I'm gonna get some blue light blocking glasses. So by that's the next the time we talk about sleep, we'll have the best sleeps uh, in Scotland. <laughs> Just Scotland, <laughs> never else. <laughs> Just Scotland, though. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks uh, as always for tuning in. Uh, you can find our social media on Instagram at Bulletproof Mindset UK. You can find me at Coach Crosser. You can find me at Roger Fit. See you guys soon. Have a nice one. <laughs>